if i want to enter any big youtubers dm and i want them to support me yo i'm going to boss in and ask them sorry how much do you charge because it is their job this look is giving me like anti look hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome to the channel if you're seeing me for the first time my name is Joycea and I am glad to have you here please do well to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video so guys today I am getting ready to film the content to well to film a try on all and to also do something for instagram and i thought why not why not just do like a get ready with me chit chat video while i do that basically the reason i'm doing my makeup here is because i want to do something for instagram i want to film a content for instagram so i thought i might as well just you know film and get ready with me on youtube while i do my makeup and chit chat with you guys since i haven't done that in a while and i feel like it is winter now and this is the time this is really the time for chit chat sit down get ready with me video because you it is freezing outside and i do not want to go outside vlogging if you hear me sniffing it is because I've been outside with Molly. You guys see my hair? This is the hair I'll be wearing. Jo Queen gave it to me. Hi, Jo Queen. So Jo Queen is my friend. Yeah, aside from being my friend, she also sells um, weaves, hair extension. I'll be leaving our Instagram handle hair by Jojo in my description. So if you need any hair extension, you can go check out so i had to do some tlc because mm, if you're not joking you know things like this are not really a cup of tea so she don't really do all that she don't really give waves or things like this any attention so i had to wash it i actually washed it last night conditioned it if you guys saw this wig before i washed it you would not like when I, when I washed this wig and I left it outside to dry, well, in my conservatory to dry, and I took it out this morning and I looked at it and I'm like, did Joe Queen really give, like, it is so looking different from what it looked when I took it. I'm really feeling this wig. I probably might need to pluck it a bit, but that's it. Yo, and it's a frontal wig, you guys. It is beautiful. I don't know, it'll, it'll look good on me, right? What do you think? I can't wait to wear it. So, like I was saying, if you hear me sniffing, it is because I've took Molly out. Andy is away for work uh, for four days. And every time Andy is away for work, Molly's responsibility is all mine. So, I took Molly out this morning. It was so cold. It was freezing. For those of you that do not know, we had a dog, or we got a dog. First, we got me, Molly, and later we got another one, which is a Lassa, because Molly was, like, initially, Molly was supposed to be Molly um, and this dog, and I wanted a dog that reminds me about my dog in Nigeria, or the dog I had in Nigeria that I gave to my friend, um, Rocky. So I wanted to get a Lassa, so I got a Lassa, and I named her uh, Millie. We couldn't get male and female because, I mean, they are different breeds and we don't want them, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> we got a female Lassa and she was so... I'll check if I still have her pictures and I'll put it up okay. She was so beautiful, you guys. She is so beautiful. I really wanted to keep her badly, but it was winter then and I just couldn't be bothered with going out and walking her because, I mean, she's my dog or she was my dog so every responsibility with her was with, was on me so and yo i just got to the uk then and i wasn't even feeling it i think that was the mistake i made getting a dog immediately i got to the uk i shouldn't have it was really it was a mistake because now even with molly it's really like andy travels sometimes for work to turkey and I am alone with Molly and I'm not able to do anything because I'm thinking some if I if there was no Molly and Andy travels I would probably just maybe go to Manchester or go somewhere and spend a few days while Andy is away but I cannot do that because if I need if I want to do that it means Molly will have to go into the kennel and kennels are not cheap at all 
so i won't be able to do that i'm stuck with molly i was talking to andy about it by the way i'm one year old in the uk now maybe one year and some weeks i was talking to andy yesterday about it i'm like yo i'm not even this is not funny i'm so bored in this house my life is boring <laughs> not literally i mean every time andy travels i'm like that so i'm like yo i'm stuck with this dog my life revolves around this dog and they're like okay if you want to give her away like you did millie you can do you can give her away but only if you let everybody know you you're the reason or you're the one that wanted to give molly away and i oh, i honestly i do not want to give her away but i just do not like that i'm stuck at home with her and and it says well i'm not sure i would get a job because i mean youtube is my job right now but even if but i might want to get a job maybe just to experience it because i've never really worked for anyone I think the last time I worked for someone was when I was 16. So I was telling Andy, what happened when I get a job? Who is going to take care of her? And he was like, okay, he's going to build her a kennel outside. So she'll be outside during the day when we're both out of the house and in the nights she'll be inside. I'm like, no, I don't want a dog that will be outside. I do not want my dog to be, I don't like outside dog. If I'm getting a dog, I want the dog to be inside. So if it gets to that point where it has to be outside during the day and inside i don't want my dog to be an outside dog so maybe we might have to give her away but for now i think i'm going to keep her yesterday i was just a lot of things was just going through my head so that's why i thought that's why i was just but i'm fine for now i'm fine whenever i get like this is because i need to take her out and especially it stresses me out waking up in the morning and getting in a cold like today i was so so cold and i really did not want to go out but i have no choice because she has to go out and if you don't take her out she might make a mess inside and i cannot blame her when i didn't take her out so yesterday i was telling andy i was like do you think we've made a or we made a mistake getting a dog so fast because I feel like it's stopping us from doing a lot of things like whenever we go on vacation or maybe not stopping us from doing a lot of things but I feel like it is also aside from yeah it is actually stopping maybe not Andy or maybe well I think it is stopping me from doing a lot of things or not a lot from doing some things because sometimes and also spending a lot of money not me andy andy <laughs> spends a lot of money because whenever we go on a vacation yeah whenever we plan to travel or go away for some time we have to put her in a kennel and sometimes it amounts to like 150 170 depends on how long we're staying for so if we're staying for and we haven't really gone away and stayed for two weeks yeah so just imagine the, uh, the most we've traveled for is 10 days so just imagine we go and we stay for two weeks or more so imagine how much we'll be paying then for me what i feel like maybe it stops me from a lot of things like i said earlier if i want to go out like now andy is away and you know joe queen invites me sometimes or emma invites me to london but i would want to use the opportunity of andy being away to do all that maybe go to london spend a few days or go to manchester and spend a few days but i can't because it means spending more money for kennel and Yo, it is my trip and I'm not going to ask Andy to pay for Molly in the kennel. And everything is quite expensive right now in the UK. We're trying to cut cost. I know that when I first arrived in the UK and I was so new in the UK, I couldn't do anything without Andy, yeah? I remember that then I really wanted a dog. I was always telling him. But before I came, Andy was Andy already said he needs he wants to get a dog that when I get back he's going to get one. But when I got back, he really didn't do anything about getting a dog on sale. I started asking to get a dog. So yeah, let's say I wanted it. That's why we got it. But that's why I also made sure to give mine to someone else. And yeah, so that I don't have to deal with any dog responsibility, like waking up early in the morning and doing all that stuff. 
anyways that's that is by the way so what was i going to even talk about i was going to talk about a few things yeah see i feel like this gel so i'm using eco is it eco or echo echo is it eco maybe it's eco i'm using this eco styling gel and i feel like it's not holding my edges my edges are not my my hair is natural and um, 4c natural hair so i feel like it's not no i feel like it's not really old in my edges, so I'll probably be losing some edges. This hair really needs plucking. I'm not saying I'm not a hair stylist, so you get whatever you see. So guys, um I was going to ask you, yeah, what do you think about niching down? Because I was having a conversation with my friend yesterday, Joe Queen, the one that gave me this wig I'm installing right now. Um, I was we were having a conversation yesterday and we were talking about this youtuber um, Lydia and we're talking about how I was telling her about how I like her Lydia and the fact that you know how I really like Lydia basically um, we're talking about okay no really really honestly we were talking about how the UK influencers are so united like they support each other um, I can't really I can't really remember the names but I know Musa is it Mari Musa I also watch her on, on YouTube as well how you see them together and also this other girl can't remember her name but she's she does um, podcast um, she's she recently I think she recently launched a new podcast with um, two other girls so there are three of them I was telling you Queen how you know they support each other a lot in the UK the UK influencers I mean the ones up there especially the black community well not we didn't really talk about black communities so yeah so but as I'm talking to you guys now I just realized well they're actually black influencers and we were talking about how they support each other a lot and of course i'm not in their circle so i don't know if there's any aid or envy but you could see how much they support each other and carry each other along we got on to talking about lydia if you do not know lydia and um, i think uh youtube name is lydia dinga joking was like oh lydia does not even have a niche i was like that's why i really like lydia and that's what i want to do i do not want to have a niche on youtube this is the problem when i do sit down videos or get ready with me especially i tend to <clears throat> talk and forget what i'm supposed to do so let me get on with this i'll be back okay so guys um i have installed the wig and well i'm not a pro with installing wigs not really install i didn't really install this i just did a glueless wig thingy with just the got to be spray what i was telling you i had to start from the beginning how the conversation started and how we mentioned Lydia so it don't be like we just sit down and gossip about everybody even though sometimes we do it <laughs> I'm going to be going with this bear with me NYX prime set refresh so I got all these things from Amazon I got literally almost all my skincare products from Amazon the Rimmel London Maybelline all this all sprays and i did not even know what they were for like i well i knew like what was written on it i know i knew this is this and this is that but i don't know when and how and what the, what difference it makes and what it does so i sent literally sent cindy a message maybe i might put the message somewhere on the screen so you guys will see i know that i'm not capping so i sent cindy a message cindy Apollo. in case you do not know cindy is a beauty content creator she does uh, makeup tutorials so you guys should go check her out i sent cindy a dm i sent out a picture of every please Cindy what am I supposed to do with all this and I bought them because I really wanted to get into my skincare makeup and all that more than I usually do I send them to her and Cindy start explaining so this is this and this is that anyways now I know what this is for and I, now I know when to use it so I'm going in with my fancy skin uh, moisturizer this is the invisible moisturizer basically SPF 30 back to why I'm talking about niching down by the way Lydia is married now I think I'm supposed to leave it to dry I don't know 
but <laughs> we move. I always have this conversation with people. It's not like I'm trying to convince people or try to make them do what they don't want to do, but I feel like niching down is not advisable. Well, that's my own take. Or if you if your take is different, leave a comment in the comment section and tell me why. So this is why I feel niching down is not my thing. Yeah. First off, if I was going to niche down, what am I going to niche down to? I probably would niche down to music because that's um, really something I'm passionate about so it has to be singing because if you want to do if you decide that you want to do YouTube and you want to niche down I'm not going to use primer because this makeup is just for content so it's not like I'm taking it outside the house I'm going in with the NARS foundation this is the soft mattes I'm going with the Maybelline fits me foundation like I said, you don't have to appear with me. You don't even need to. In fact, I don't want anybody to agree if you want to. Well, if you agree with me, fine. If you don't agree with me, I don't want you to. It's simple. This video is just letting you guys know my own opinion and where I stand with what I'm talking about. I feel like if you niche down, let's say for me, like I said, if I was going to niche down, it would be something I really love to do. I Something I'm passionate about. Because let's say you niche down into something you're not very passionate about. You're going to get one out. Even if even when you're passionate about the thing, you're still going to get one out at some point. Like you evolve because like they say, one thing that is constant in life is change. So change happen and yeah. So let's say I niche down to singing and my channel is all about singing. And well, when I started my channel, it was my first channel. When I joined YouTube for the first time, I started with singing and <laughs> eventually I had to switch into vlog. So I know how that feels. So let's say I start my channel and you know, I do singing and I'm not able to keep up or be consistent with creating music content. My channel will suffer because consistency helps a lot on YouTube. But if I decide not to niche down, I can decide that today I feel like doing singing content and I'll do singing content. And when I feel like, okay, I don't have the resources or I'm not in the place to sing or to put out singing content, I'll put up vlogs and other content, tutorial, chit chat and stuff like that, how to or whatever. So this is me soda eye pencil. I got it from TK Maxx. Oh, this is not even, this is blue. So I'm using this eye pen, so I don't know the name, but <laughs> yeah. I don't hey guys, so I'm done with my eyebrows. Using this concealer by, or from LA Girl Pro. Let's say you're doing only beauty and after a while you decide to do something else because I mean, change happens and things, life happens. It's going to be very hard for you to transfer your beauty audience to accept other things. Get what I mean? You get me. <laughs> so that's why I do not accept niching down. But if you feel like you'll be able to, I'm just going to let this dry a bit before I blend. But if you feel like you'll be able to do it, of course, carry on. But I've noticed that a lot of the people, especially the ones that I know, what am I even doing? The ones that I know now that are niching all that were actually niching down before and now into doing other content. They are now creating other content because life happens and change happens. Either they got married, they start having kids. But yeah, so that's how niching down affects channel because it's always hard. Mostly when you've built your content, your um, subscribers or your channel with a particular niche, it is difficult for your, it confuses the algorithm or it also confuses your subscribers might not be interested in the kind of videos you're putting out now. Maybe they might not be interested in vlogs, but that does not mean you will not get new subscribers for the content you're deciding to put out now. You get new subscribers, but your old subscribers might not be so much interested in the content you're putting out now. But if you decide not to niche down, so let's say you're doing all rounder. So let's say lifestyle, because to me, lifestyle is broad. Lifestyle can be makeup, lifestyle can be get ready with me, lifestyle can be fashion, alls, like all round to say, okay, my channel is a lifestyle channel. You can do virtually anything. You can do travel vlogs, you can do any vlogs, you can do beauty, you can do fashion, you can do anything. And you know, I even sing sometimes on my channel, even though I don't do it more often or I don't do it. I, I only started singing just recently on my channel, which I'll try my best to do more often. 
but it helps you that as your channel grows you, your channel grow with every audience like so if you're doing all this content together your channel will grow with all this content so if you're doing beauty fashion vlogs travel vlogs your channel will grow with all these people coming so your channel will have people that are interested in your life your beauty content or your fashion content and your travel content or your vlog so all these people will subscribe so whenever you decide to put a fashion video the people that are interested with your fashion hauls or your try on hauls or whatever will watch that and whenever you're putting a beauty video the people that are interested in your beauty will watch that whenever you're doing um let's say vlogs the people that are interested in your vlogs will watch that like me i know that my subscribers are mostly interested in my vlogs because whenever i do like fashion and some other contents they're not very much interested but i mean i still got a few people that would watch but it's not like they would it's not how welcoming they are of my vlogs i feel like i'm giving everybody the content that they want to see or the content that made them subscribe to my channel which is fine and also even in the midst of all this there are also some subscribers that will watch anything you put out there so with me i like it watching kelechi's channel because i like her editing and how soothing and everything her content is always top notch aside from the content itself the editing is always good so i watch literally i could watch anything kelechi put out there so there are other people that are like me with kelechi and they're like that with me so they would watch anything that i put out there i was so, watching diana ikweme's video was it yesterday she had vivian okese you guys know vivian okese yeah she's one of the very best content creators she's not very big i don't know why because her contents are lit lit so i was before this thing dries too much oh my god it's dried it's dried oh i'll go blend this i'll be back So they talked about people that are so entitled and if you know me very well you would know i hate people that are entitled like no let me not say i hate them i hate that thing entitlement i hate it so much diana talked about how people will send her messages and they will send her a mail and somewhat somehow imposing and making it seem like oh you have to share me you have to support me and stuff like that that is barbaric. I don't know if I pronounced it well, but that is so, so wrong. You don't do that. Me, if I want to enter any big YouTubers DM and I want them to support me, yo, I'm going to Boston and ask them, sorry, how much do you charge? Because it is their job. If they decide not to share you because they don't want to, they have the right not to and you don't have to be pissed and if you ask them and they feel like no i don't want to then let them be let me try this blue and see what and see what it will look like is it even showing is it showing as blue so i know it'll get to a point where people will be like oh joy you haven't you didn't share me you say you're going to share me and you didn't share me and they'll be pissed and they'll unsubscribe and they'll not watch my channel you'll get to that because most times when you decide to offer a helping hand sometimes it backfires you know but i all i'm going to say is if you're one of those people that feel like big youtubers i'm not a big youtuber like those big youtubers if you feel like you're entitled to their support then you're wrong vivian said something she said when she started youtube she had friends that are youtubers are bigger than her and they did not share her or they did not root for her they did not even give her a shout out or they did not even do collaborations together which is fine and she also said she didn't stop talking to them because of that this also brings me back to my video my giveaway video where i talked about if you're my friend and you don't watch my video you're amazing not because you don't watch my video we're going to fight and stuff now because i know that there are some of my friends that don't watch my videos yeah they're not does it don't make them bad people because they also support me in maybe some other thing like joe queen joe queen well she watches my video but not as as much as maybe some of my regulars my subscribers do but joaquin supports me a lot in other things and i'm so grateful so because she doesn't watch my videos as much as which is in fact she even watched my video better pass for that people so she doesn't watch my video as much as as much as it's much 
does not mean she's not a good friend that's what i'm saying so because people don't support you the way you expect them to or the way you think they should does not mean they're good but if you have friends that you know let's say they don't watch your videos or they don't support you anywhere like anything you do they don't support you that's when you should be mindful of people friends like that but you know there's some people that don't really care about youtube or anything like that so ah i didn't even tell you so i just used the zaron face definer for my contour I'm going in with this zaron palettes and i'm going to be using the the shade flame as my blush so i watched one of cindy's video where she used her blush like this i think she even brought it this way safe you guys i'm learning a lot from cindy's channel if you're not subscribed to her channel and you want to be a pro makeup or you want to know how to do your own makeup even why not why are you not subscribed to her channel that's where you should be you know because i learn a lot from her channel this is the first time i'm doing this whole blush thing so i hope it turns out nice <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed my little talk about niching down and not niching down and a few other things I'm using this powder from Fenty so that's the powder I think it's too bright for you to see I feel like this powder is a bit dark for me what do you think so get ready with me chit chat is probably not my <laughs> not my thing because I'm going to the chit chat and forget to get ready Maybelline lasting fix I'm going in with this lip primer from Prep and Prime from MAC Cosmetics. I really love how this makes my lip feel. Makes it feel so soft. I really do not know what lip to go for, but with this hair color, I don't know. Do you think I should go for red? Do you think red will... I feel like with red, it might be too much to... Well, let's see. Red is my favorite lipstick color. I'm going in with this lipstick from Chanel. It's too red. What do you guys think? And I'm also I'm going to go off camera to fix my lashes, and I'll be back. So I'm going to be applying this Mac blotting powder. I got to learn about this from Cindy's channel. So guys, I'm going to go off camera to try and style this wig and let's see what it looks like okay and let me just tell you guys i prob i'm probably going to be taking out this lashes because i feel like it's making me look like one of banji and this red lipstick i'll see you guys when i'm done okay hey guys so i am back and this is what i am looking like so i went in to change the lips i wasn't feeling it I love red lips but for this hair I was just wasn't feeling it but I just felt like mm, wasn't giving what I wanted but I think for now it is okay and I went in to style the hair this is what it is looking like I'm not a fan of baby hairs that's why there is no baby hair inside I think in all I'm liking this I like this look I wouldn't give it a hundred I feel like it is too much let me know what you think in the comment section aside that i mean it is okay and the wig is giving rate my look in the description let me know what you think about this look so i changed the leaf and used mac nude lipstick that's it what do you think anyways guys thanks for coming to my ted talk or my rant talk whatever talk it's going to be everywhere so manage it like that like i said earlier it is up to you though if you want to niche down niche down but what i don't support is you making it seem like people that are not niching down don't know what they're doing or vice versa so um thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and yeah and i'll see you in my next video bye for now Me.